Oh, hey. Folks, welcome aboard. It's Thursday night. Not only that, it's uh, New Year's Eve. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for not going out and risking everybody's life for dumbass parties that will achieve very little other than a little bit of fun. So join, thanks for joining us for some fun. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, go ahead and uh, hit us up on our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like, you know, phone cases, uh, pillowcases, bath towels, bath mat, all that crap. Uh, go ahead and hit our store. Uh, give a shout out to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that kill my players once in a while. Not nearly enough. And also, of course, oddfishgames.com. If the game stinks, grab yourself a little bit of Adventure Sense uh, and make it smell a whole lot better. And if you're interested in starting to publish, check out their Shine system. Uh, both can be found on their website, oddfishgames.com. So take a look at them. Now, uh, for you regular folks, you will say, hey, where the hell's Caitlin? Because this is Thursday night and this is company. <laughs> well, Caitlin's a little bit tired, not alcohol related. She is moving into her new digs and uh, just overexerted herself. So tonight we're going to do a, an urban one shot. One of my favorites. Uh, these guys are going to cacophony. No, they aren't. They're going to Cathaway. Cathaway. <laughs> We're going to Cathaway. Yeah. Home of the underground crab fighting contests, the UCFC. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to our fellow players. And I think I might be getting a reverb. Uh -oh. yeah. So, David, go ahead and start us off. Tell us who you are. Tell us who your character is. Hi, I'm David. I... Um... I'm usually on our Tuesday shows uh, between the roles. Uh, don't hold me to that. I mean, I can be bumped off anytime by any <laughs> of you that want to join the show. Uh, also, I'm on Thursday nights, uh, our Cacophony show, our ongoing mini campaign uh, with uh, myself, Carrie, and Caitlin. So I play the Changeling Arcane Trickster Zadar. So tonight I will be playing, uh, reprising the role of Billy the Piper from uh, our Christmas episode. <laughs> he is a satyr creation bard. So You're going to be a big hit in uh, Cathaway. I'm just going to say oh, yeah. that out front. Uh, normally behind the camera, our producer uh, is also behind the camera tonight. She's also playing my wife, Carrie. Carrie, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, well, there's not much to tell about me. Um, my character is Dame Cilia, a third level paladin who uh, feels that she's owed more respect than she gets. <laughs> Bad news, she's not going to find it here tonight either. Not in Cathaway. <laughs> My asshole cat just opened the door. Oh, that's okay. I can't hear the reverb now. Uh, folks, uh, these guys have arrived at Cathaway, and uh, priority number one should be getting a room, uh, but there is a celebration in town. A lot of revelers uh, going down the streets as you guys approach the main gates. The guards look tired and haggard. Let's go ahead and throw up what uh, Cathaway looks like. Uh, it is a big metropolis, and these guys are coming in on the eastern edge over by the docks. Uh, as you pass by, we'll call it Cheapside to totally steal it. Uh, <laughs> you guys are going to pass several businesses. Would you like to try and stop them, or would you like to get inside the confining walls of the city? What do you think, Dame? Should we do shopping or should we get this party started? And it is inside? after dark. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's after dark, so probably not yeah. shopping. We probably yeah. gotta go in. Yeah. Nothing but unsavory characters out here right now. Yeah, They're exactly. These are cheap seats. So they are a lot of unsavory individuals. Some of them uh shadier than others. Uh, everybody, give me a perception check. Oh, goody. <laughs> Six. You guys don't notice shit as no, you head don't. to the gatehouse. 
That is awesome news. Uh, you get to the gatehouse and the tired and haggard guards look at you and go, yes, what can we do for you? Can we just come in? Do you have three gold pieces? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. You may come in. Okay. <laughs> uh, click, he click, click. <laughs> he signals to the guard on the other side. They open up the gates. You are allowed to enter. Revelry, revelry is happening to your right and to your left. Now, to your left, you notice that most of the revelers are coming out of uh, the Portcullis Bar. Hmm. 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 Sounds. Hmm. Gaty. Yeah. <laughs> So, so you said that we need to find somewhere to stay tonight. Is there, are there any inns around here that we can get into? Uh, you want to ask somebody? Oh, yes, I would. Uh, go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. Oh, well, this probably won't be good either. Uh... Oh, 16. Uh, you find a male uh, currently imbibing a yard because he's in New Orleans. There we uh, go. <laughs> and he points out that uh, there's a uh, a uh, uh, place behind the Port Cullis Bar. Oh, that nice. Does it have a balcony? Uh, the Port Cullis Bar? Mm -hmm. No. The oh, end. Damn. <laughs> or the end. Uh, the inn appears to be three stories tall. Oh, okay. You see where I'm going with this, right? Since we're uh, in New Orleans. <laughs> <clears throat> you do see several people out on the balcony. Okay. Would you like to call up to them? Um, sure. How's it going up there? <laughs> Since you guys have not asked, uh, the individuals will start to hurl stuff at you and nice uh two at each why are they hurling stuff you'll know in just a second <laughs> uh let's see a nat 20 a 17 an 18 and a 17 each of you is Forget hit by hit. two plates 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 uh you each take a uh, total of four hit points of damage. Oh That's my cool, god, man. right out the two bat. And two. Uh, do you want to stand there and see what they're doing? Hell no! <laughs> uh, you hear a cheer behind you as the guy with the yard is laughing. Oh, oh thanks for setting us up, man. <laughs> I didn't set you up. It's yeah. uh, it, th This is the festival of Asparabbit. And what is that? It's the... <clears throat> It's the, the festival of flying plates. Oh, incoming. <laughs> <laughs> Duck. Two, two more plates. Uh, 17 and a nap 20. <laughs> Damn, we're going to get killed. Again. You each take three hit points of <laughs> damage. <laughs> All right. uh, bad news is they're out of plates. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, can we, we need to go in and see if we can get a room. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they're out of plates. <laughs> uh oh, he, his mic just went dead. Well, I was trying to mute myself, but it oh. doesn't matter because I can still hear everything. Uh, you guys want to make a run for the inn? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to make a run for emotional safety. There sure. you go. Uh, you enter in there, and a fat proprietor, female. Uh, is kind of rocking in this strange chair with curves on the bottom. Hmm, interesting. Little yeah, else for the rock. Before. She is uh, doing a little uh, embroidery. What can I do for you? Uh, would you happen to have a room for the evening, ma'am? Nope. Just gave the last set of rooms to some Telosians. Telosians? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, you know, those Plains people from up north. Uh, a whole slew of them came in on a boat. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> what floor are they staying on? Two. Oh. Well, I mean, the we... plates came from three. Oh, well, thank God. <laughs> uh, so do you know anywhere in town where we could stay at? Oh, 
oh, you want me to just shy away business? Well, you're turning our business away, so where are we supposed to go? Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, well, you can go out outside the walls and stay there. Mm, uh, I'm going to take a pass on that one. Yeah. Maybe we should go up to the Telosians and see if they let us hang out with them. I mean, if that's where the shot or visitors allowed up on the floors. Do you have a uh, room? Our the Telosians do. The Telosians are up there. <laughs> We're here to see our friends. Uh, she turns her embroidery over and it gives a four letter phrase that you were quite familiar with, uh, but uh, says no you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay. You got nothing for us here, right, lady? Nope. Well, what about entertainment? Are you looking for entertainment tonight? Hold up the bagpipes. <laughs> I point and I was just like shocked. No, no, uh, no, no, I'm pointing to show you this is her expression. Yeah, and I'm pointing to my face saying shocked face. <laughs> okay. She leans over and yells out, Herbie! And this half ogre looking size motherfucker steps out with a club hmm. yeah boy oh my god <laughs> that guy has some kind of wild animal underneath his arm you need to beat it to death oh no, no uh i was just like don't worry herbie i got it uh, just give it a big squeeze like <laughs> so I go run. Her, Herbie raises his bat and begins to chase you outside. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'm I try cool. to trip Herbie. Fair enough. Uh, give me a dex uh, dex attack. Uh, 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 eight. Uh, Herbie, despite his large size, leaps over your extended foot and continues to chase Billy the Piper. Outside, the cobblestone streets are littered in pottery. I chase after. <laughs> uh, Herbie will follow you a half a block and then return back to Maul. Awesome. Yep, he chased that creature off. <laughs> Okay, well. I, I uh, went to Dame. I said, maybe we should try to find somewhere else. Uh, that sounds good. So you guys have ventured forth. And so what time are, of night is it? It's, it's early evening, about okay. 7 o'clock. Uh, so here is where you were. Mm -hmm. And here is where you're running. Awesome. Uh, as you get to the intersection, there is a loud clamor. Do you continue forward and examine it or say screw it and go back the other way towards Herbie? Uh, well, I suggest we do not go back towards Herbie. So I don't know. Shall we check out the clamoring? Investigation. Oh, boy. No. We're just playing into the DM's hands. So 10. 14. Uh, Dame Cilia notices a shattered body ahead at the intersection of what appears to be an alleyway and a minor street. As you clear the clear into the intersection, you see three adventuring types, uh, a tiefling, a halfling, and what might appear to be a human. There are two crippled bodies and there appear to be substantial damage done to the buildings on either side. Structural oh, damage. Crap. Okay. The, the three tough adventurers look at you sternly. <laughs> and with a 17, intimidate the shit out of you. The tiefling looks positively gruesome. Do you want to stick around or do you want to leave? Not, nothing to yeah. see here, folks. This is <laughs> see all ya. your business. This is you guys. Are right. It's our business. Move along. Nothing to see here. These are not the droids you're looking for. Hey, you guys so, know anywhere where we could stay? <laughs> that no. redhead. That redheaded <laughs> chick was hot, though. The redheaded <laughs> chick was hot. Uh, you can go where they came from, or you can go left, or you can go right. 
You hear uh, guard whistles coming from left and right. Oh, oh Jesus. I think we should get the flock out of here. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. I do my little Seder Kipper. Uh, well, can we go past them? <laughs> yeah. They are more interested in the two bodies. Okay. We go past uh, them. Yeah, we go. Yeah, it's right, usually right, a half lane at a stacked redhead. Uh, they eyeball you as you go by, but since you aren't causing them any problems, ignore you sternly. You go down the alley and you notice a large group of what appear to be intoxicated patrons at the far end of the alley. They apparently have also heard the clamor and have come to investigate. Awesome. Uh... Ooh, hey me. guys hey hey what's going on down there uh you don't want to go down there it's... uh you see a small figure push through some of the larger sailor types and it appears to be a halfling female uh and she's like hey did you see three adventurers run down this way mm. no no hmm. i wonder which way they went i saw nothing we didn't see a thing. <laughs> okay. For some reason, the group is not going down the alley towards the three adventurers. They uh, decided to maintain a safe distance. To your right on this main drag, you hear a lot of breaking of pottery. Oh. <laughs> Moments later, to the left, you hear breaking pottery. And since you were in an alley... Oh, Lord. <laughs> One, odd even, even, Billy the Piper. <laughs> Let me guess, That's nat my, 20. That is my third nat 20. <laughs> you, Son gonna, of a bitch. I'm going to kill you, fuckers. Uh, only one hit point of damage. <laughs> Thank the God. Teacup. Uh, the drunken horde in front of you. Huzzah! Huzzah! Get a, I get assaulted by a teacup. <laughs> it was Chip. Yeah. It was Chip. That's right, it yeah. was Chip from Beauty and the Beast. A uh, chip. Ahead of you, like I said, is the main drag. So this is a T intersection. Uh, or you can return behind you with the three adventures. Uh, that doesn't seem like do. a good idea at the time. Um, I guess yeah. we're on the main drag. Yeah, we'll go out on the drag. I, I don't think we want to get involved in that. Okay. You uh, push your way through the crowd. Uh, odd even. Even again. Do I have a helmet? <laughs> you should probably have We one. should probably invest in this. <laughs> uh, good news, Billy. That roll was only a 14. Uh, give that me misses. A, get, well, I'm not throwing anything at you. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check per se oh no okay Man, not too bad 17 uh that ties uh somebody's rooting through your coin purse what the, what the f boy you're moving through a big crowd of alcoholics yeah yeah i know i'm, I'm gonna start i'm gonna move my coin purse to under my kilt in the front <laughs> so they're gonna go after both coin purses sorry, exactly coin purse. uh okay as you do so okay uh you're light two gold pieces yeah <laughs> and you can't really tell who it is because it's just a jumble of humanity i, I think at this point it doesn't matter <laughs> as you break through the street you notice uh, a lot of broken crockery down the main drag. Uh, everybody who has a shop here also has a second floor. Some even have a third floor. So shopkeepers are usually on the second floor as a personal residence. Uh, their employees, if they have any, or apprentices are on the third floor. Uh, the celebration of Asparabbit seems to be in full swing. And yes, this is a Let's see, it's uh, a Denmark tradition on New Year's Eve. I'm not making that He's not shit making up. that shit up. <laughs> it's a festival of broken plates. So, How the hell do uh, they have enough crockery to do that every year? Well, they, they only use it for the crockery. They didn't use it all. Well, exactly. What, what country is it again? <laughs> Denmark. 
There you go. They have no bravado. <laughs> so. the, the Danes are weird. So if there are any Danish viewers tonight, uh, thanks for the uh, uh, emphasis mail. on this thing. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you burst your way through the crowd and Billy finds himself two gold pieces lighter, you notice a uh, rather bustling tavern down on the left. Uh, go ahead and perception check to see if you can make out what it is. Uh, 20. 20, 22. Both of you notice the sign that says Salty's Tavern. Ta- uh, <laughs> nice. So, uh, or ahead. you can go down the gauntlet. <laughs> well, if, if the shopkeepers all have balconies, we could stand under the balconies to get where we're going. As they wing at you from the opposite from side. From the, the opposite side, yeah. I was about to say, that's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, each of you notices that there's not a whole lot of guard presence tonight. Mm. Hmm. I guess they don't want to get hit by plates either. Correct. Either that or it's the purge. <laughs> right. So um, you can go down to Salty's, or you can run the gauntlet. Yeah, let's go down to Salty's and get a drink. I was about- yeah, I was about to say, let's head to Salty's. I need one after getting hit with plates. Yeah. Give me an insight check, both of you. I hear they have a drink called the Monsoon. So. Insight. And the dice roller says six. Damn it, I should have rolled by hand. <laughs> uh, 18. Uh, Dave, you notice that the... Uh, angry drunken mob is following you oh, singing some kind of i don't know folk song to the best of your ability uh it sounds like if you've ever heard crass crude rugby uh jingles that's kind of what it sounds like it's oh scary. man this is my crowd <laughs> so uh, <laughs> i fill up the, <laughs> the billows and start start playing along <laughs> performance check Let's yeah. see if you can wow the crowd. Let's hope so. <laughs> 28. Oh, they they get behind you. You are now the king of the night. As oh, you guys gosh. head into Salty's Tavern, you notice there's a seedy group in here. Uh, and there's, a, there's strange fur like tufts of fur, like some kind of skin was in here. Uh, You see uh, one guy, a rather handsome devil, uh, charming a few ladies over in the corner. In the very back, you see a large spinning wheel. And at present, there is a small halfling male uh, attached to it. Wow. Picking around, a couple of berserkers have axes and they're exchanging bets uh the tavern keeper an old naval looking guy because he's got an anchor on his forearm right uh says welcome to salties what can i get you shut that damn thing up or i'll poke a hole in it yeah i was you hear <laughs> <laughs> okay. what kind of alcohol you have here what kind of alcohol you want you have we've gin. got alcohol from Telosia. we've got uh you know uh, tea for scholars. We got everything here. There are toots. I, um, <laughs> I hear you have a really strong drink called the monsoon. Yeah, it's not for the weak. Should we dare try it, or or, should, or? Well, you can try it, and I'll be the designated sober per. Well, not sober. I'll have a gin. Well, you can have the monsoon. We'll see. Let's see how my constitution is. (laughs) A rousing tune comes up from the back. You can barely make out the top of three gnomes uh, singing diddlies. Diddlies? Okay. Nice. So are the berserkers by themselves? Uh, They're with each other. There are three of them. Okay. What are they drinking? It looks like the blood of their enemies. Oh, well. Oh, I I know that I'm going to buy them around. (laughs) But that would no, be difficult. No, we, uh, I think it's I know a, that drink. It, it's like a red ale, isn't it? It's cherry ale. All oh. right. I'll buy them around. No, oh, I'll take nice. one of those. I'll take one of those. Hey, bag boy, which yeah. do you want? Do you want the monsoon or do you want the cherry ale? Oh, the cherry ale. <laughs> okay. Uh, he gives it to you on a wooden tray. 
uh, says you can bus it yourself. So there are four cherry ales, one gin. All right. Okay, we make our way over to the bazaar. We make our way over. Two gold pieces there, Dame Celia. Pie the tink, man. Tink. <laughs> uh, as you pass by the charismatic man, you hear him say, all right, all right, all right. Uh, and you guys head to the back where the halfling is visibly shaken, crying, and has soiled his pants. <laughs> oh, uh, there are several hatchet marks in various locations, and one in between his legs where it looks like he actually crunched himself up to avoid getting neutered. Wow. Uh, the but otherwise barbarian... he's intact, though, right? He is intact. He is crying. There's, there's a little trickle of tears on the floor from where they continue oh. going. Uh, the berserkers are laughing and they are exchanging bets. Uh, they notice you come up uh, and look at you speculatively. What would you like to do? Oh, we offer them drinks that we bought them. Say, you look like an interesting group. We've got beverages, lads. Uh, Billy, what are you, a human? Uh, Seder. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> you're going to be on the wheel before the end of the night. Uh, Dame Cilia, what are you? Human. What's your charisma? Oh, boy. Um... Where is it? Uh, far left, bottom. Oh. Uh... Bottom of the main stats. Uh, 15? Okay. Uh, they look at you uh, a bit puzzled. Uh, but go ahead and accept the drinks and nod and begin to guzzle it as the ale makes their beards redder. Uh, they finish it in one rather stout gulp. Uh, slam it down to the ground and then the three of them look at each other and they wing it at the half <laughs> uh, Let's see. The mugs, right? Yeah, a 14, a 17, and a 19. They probably have plus two. They clock him in oh. the, the head, the balls, and the gut. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh, is he passed out now? Oh, uh, he's unconscious. Oh, okay. uh, well, that's good. So now they won't need to like do anything. You notice else. that the urine soil increases a little bit more uh, and then begins to trickle up uh, towards his chin oh, because his head is upside guy. down. Uh, uh, the berserkers beat on their chest. Hanson. <laughs> Hanson? Oh. All, all three of them are apparently named Hanson. Do they have They're glasses? All they are the Hanson brothers. Brothers. Nice. Nice. Uh, they offer you, they offer odd even. Even again. Uh, it's your night, Billy. They offer oh, you an axe. <laughs> I would feel I bad about it, but I'm like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> and I wing it. <laughs> are you trying to hit him? Or miss him. Because that's going to be very important. <laughs> Obviously miss him. <laughs> okay. If you roll too poorly, you're going to hit him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so what am I rolling? A 20? Uh, you're attacking with dexterity as your modifier. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, critical fail. Oh no. That's a one. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> as you deftly hurl the axe, attempting to miss the poor unconscious half lane, uh, you hit him right in the throat and decapitate huh. him. What? His, his head. Rolls down onto the floor, and the Hanson brothers. <laughs> 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 
Uh, the uh, bartender is not as amused, uh, and he comes over. I look at they, Dame, it's just like, I can I can heal, but I can't fix this. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the charismatic man walks over and he goes, that's a shame. It is. Yes, I can uh, cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> we both can. If we try really hard. Can Together. We try together? <laughs> uh, the berserkers are, are in tears. I, I mean, they are. They're, all, they're laughing they have, their asses they, off. They have taken a knee. They are laughing. That is hilarious. They consider you truly spectacular. Salty is not amused at all <laughs> at the homicide just perpetrated in his tavern. It was a game of chance. <laughs> oh, uh, Salty asks, what in the hell were you thinking? You know what? I don't even care. You and you get out. <laughs> All right. So we can't uh, fix him? <laughs> We can't try to fix them. No. <laughs> Why are we so Billy the on? Piper has committed homicide. Okay. And it's 34 okay. minutes into the game. He volunteered for a game of chance. and <laughs> So I asked the berserkers, hey, where you are gonna... you guys staying tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Ah. All right, I guess we better get out then. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Salty has gone to go get what he calls his big loving stick, oh. uh, which is tapered at the end, and you can guess where he usually strikes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we're already out of there. Mr. <laughs> McConaughey says, all right, all right, all right. You must get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want right, to go out the right. back door or the front door? Uh, uh, which way did Salty go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Salty's coming at you, and he's trying to figure out which way you're going to go. He's coming from the front, though, so... I guess we better head out the back door. Yeah, we'll head out the back door. <laughs> you uh, bail out into the back door, and you seem to be in a courtyard. Mm -hmm. oh. There's an individual... Can we get out of the courtyard? <clears throat> well, you can, but there's an individual... His forehead is leaning against the wall, and below him is this puddle of urine. It looks like he passed out right in the middle of mid P. <laughs> well, that's a shame. That is a shame. But I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, there are a few picnic tables, a couple of chairs, a small cistern, and the backs of multiple buildings. Uh, way up to the corner, uh, there appears to be a small alleyway. Uh, if you look around, you may find another small alleyway. You aren't sure. It's very dark. And the sounds of crashing pottery can be heard all around you <clears throat> as the festival gets well underway. What are our chances of finding a cleric tonight? Uh, you do not see any church steeples. Where There's you are no at. temples or anything, huh? Not uh, in the center of a not square in surrounded. <laughs> no. not, this is like not Sodom here. and Gomorrah. You are right in. Uh, this area oh, okay this would be salties mm -hmm. and there appears to be an alley right here all right we gotta get to that alley yeah yeah we make our way and through the alley the river as you head that way yeah oh <laughs> the card of fate uh it says a tree branch but you know what we aren't going with the tree branch today uh, we're going for two pieces of pottery. Uh, Dame Cilia is green. Uh, 17 on Dame Cilia, only a five on Billy Piper this time. Dame Cilia takes a shot to the head for two more hit points. <clears throat> 17 doesn't hit me. Oh, it doesn't? No. Well, plus two, 19. Yes, 19. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you, you, you take a saucer to the skull, uh, but you make your run. Uh, you go into two buildings. The one on your left looks like a very old stately mansion. The one on the right looks like a fairly freshly renovated building. Uh, there's a man outside with a measuring stick on the right. 
<clears throat> or you can okay. make it to the main drag. Uh, let's talk to the guy with the measuring stick. Okay. I say, hold on one second before we go, mm -hmm. and uh, I spend a, I spend a point of uh, <coughs> bardic inspiration and cast uh, creation. I create two shields. <laughs> You know, just plain non-magical shields. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go for tonight. Fair that, enough. That should help. <laughs> <laughs> they got straps on them, so we can just pull them up and we can kind of keep them and pull them up. Sure. Uh, the man with the measuring stick looks at you. Can I help you? Um, we didn't realize that there was going to be this type of celebration going on, and we were really trying to find somewhere to spend the night. Ask for rabbit? Yeah. Are you unfamiliar with it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, then you are probably in grave danger. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you say you want a place to stay? Well, we were trying to find somewhere. Uh, if you help me measure this, I'm replacing the fence. Uh, I will gladly give you directions. There is no one currently in this residence as it is still under renovation. Myself and my team are working diligently to go ahead and make sure everything is perfect. My name is Tom. Um, does Tom seem like a trustworthy individual? Tom is an older gentleman, short, with salt, uh, salt and pepper, gray hair, and a mustache. He appears very diligent in his task uh, and seems very reliable. Okay, I, I'm okay. happy to help. How do you feel about it, Billy? <laughs> Uh, at this point, yeah. Anything that'll get me off the streets, yes. <laughs> okay, who wants to help him uh, put down some cobblestones? I will help him. Okay, give me a performance check. Ah, shit, that went on the ground. <clears throat> uh, 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 13. Uh, 13's okay, uh, as you unleash a row of cobblestones to go ahead and help him build this sidewalk. Uh, you notice that his is perfectly straight with zero gaps. <clears throat> he looks at yours and goes, huh, my line, your line. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'll tear it out and redo it. I'm afraid you're going to have to. Okay. Go ahead and try again. Can I assist? Sure. Uh, you can uh, roll at advantage, Dame. <clears throat> Fifteen. <sighs> How about I just tell you guys where the nearest inn is? Okay. Sure. Clattering of pottery to the left, clattery of pottery to the right but none near you. Uh, he says there are actually two locations that you can go to, and he gives you very in-depth instructions, uh, very detailed on how it is. Apparently, this Tom guy is extremely diligent in his directions. He tells you you may go to the left behind him to this location, or you may cross over the bridge and go to this location. He will point out that if you go across the bridge, there will be less pottery thrown at you. If you go to the other location, it will be shorter. However, there is the opportunity for more pottery to strike you. I ask Tom, which place would you stay at if you were us? You know, I've renovated both places, but in my early years, I renovated the place behind me. I've done a much better job across the river across the river it is that works i give him a gold piece and say i'm sorry i wasn't more helpful thank you if you need me you may just ask for mr selma okay i'm going to pull the shield over my head <laughs> yeah we both do <laughs> uh as you head towards the bridge uh you smell a wonderful smell of a baked item and spot it cooling on a nearby windowsill at the building next to the Tom Silva renovation project. Would you like to ignore it and continue or do a sampling? I am a paladin. I can't do that. 
No, we can't do that. I am not pushing my luck any further tonight. <laughs> I tried to go with it, and it, it you see how it ended. <laughs> uh, as you get onto the bridge, you notice uh, a large plaza to the right. There is a bell tower there, uh, and a bunch of kids are throwing small tomatoes at each other. Uh, a large building stands opposite of that, uh, but then there's a collection of buildings here on the left. Mm -hmm. I got my shield. Now I'm following Mr. Silva's directions. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you see a tavern called the Catfish, and it appears to be <laughs> home of yet more raucous behavior. Uh, there is singing inside, or you may continue around the corner. Oh, they're probably singing tub thumping or some shit like that. Chumbawamba. Uh, Chumbawamba. Yeah. The best band yeah. ever. <laughs> I uh, say we need to go to the wherever the residence is. Yeah, yeah, we should. The residence in. So we're passing by the catfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to this one. <laughs> My little satyr ears kind of drew so but sure Look, we just need to get somewhere to stay and then we can decide what we want to do after that sure <laughs> sure this is called the tumbly inn oh okay it is a two-story uh location and a total of four plates come come down upon you uh dame cilia 17 and 15 so the 17 misses right the yes. 19 gets you. 19 plus gets two. Me. Does the shields add anything to our armor class? It would add one to your armor class, so okay. I guess I would not hit her. Ah. Uh, does an 18 hit the satyr? No, it does not. Uh, the ceramic items clang off your newfound shields, and you burst into the tumbly inn. Uh, a fae sprite is behind the cabin, or behind the uh, front desk, and he sits on a very high stool. May I help you? Uh, do you have a room for the evening? D12 against me. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Ten. Six. Uh, we have a room. Oh, thank God. Could we please get that for the night? Sure. It's on the third floor. Okay. Five gold. <clears throat> tink, 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 tink. <laughs> Do you require any pottery? Um, no, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Hmm. Okay. We brought our you own. Have, <laughs> we brought have, our own. We did, actually. We did bring our own. So. You have secured lodging at the Tumbly Inn. Uh, let's go up and see what our room looks like. Yeah, walking up, I tell her, I can make pottery. So we, like, <laughs> we walk on up. <laughs> no. Can you get really Goldberg? <laughs> no. <laughs> Quit that. No. You, you go up to your room and there are two single cots. This place is not the greatest. Uh, and there is some kind of chalk outline in the middle of the floor. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> and it looks like it was a tea flame. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's okay. There's a smell, but yeah, it's okay. And Man. It, ha it has a balcony? Yeah. Oh, let's go out and look out the balcony. What's the craftsmanship like on this place? Tom sent us here. I mean, is the craftsmanship at least good? At least he wasn't bullshitting us about the renovation? Everything is level. Okay. There <laughs> yeah. we go. Everything is clean. level. Yeah, it's just not clean. It's he's not responsible what happens to the place after he's done it. Correct. He, the, the balcony looks out north over the plaza. Actually, this is probably a pretty nice room for five gold pieces. Who wants to go out on the balcony and look first? Uh, sure, because we're we're on the top level, right? We're on the third floor, right? Oh. Second level. Second second floor, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was... doesn't matter where. Yeah, I'm still taking my shield with me. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am not taking that shield. <laughs> Leave him without that shield. Uh, dirty twenty on Billy as a tomato hits you in the face. Oh, huh. causing no damage, but giving the appearance of blood stain on the balcony. Uh, you see a small teenager, a 
nat 20 uh, male uh, laughing at you. <laughs> do we have anything to throw at him? Uh, I do, but it would do damage. <laughs> um... Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I would laugh it, laugh it off. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, the room itself is sparse, uh, very Spartan-esque. Uh, but again, the view, the view, the views to die for. It, I on market days, this must be awesome. I'm sure it is. Okay, so what do we do now? I don't know. Do we lay low? I mean, I just decapitated somebody that's true now keep in mind your room looks out over the plaza and you can hear the music coming from the tavern okay no oh, from the what was it called catfish tavern catfish tavern <laughs> and tumbly in <laughs> so we hear i get knocked down i get up <laughs> no Sorry. <laughs> it, it switched to something called the YMCA. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, do you want to go down to the tavern? Uh, Yeah, if I can blend into the crowd. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. A little hooved guy? Uh, horseshoes maybe. horseshoes on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys go down and the little brownie sprite looks at you and goes, room okay? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Everything I could have hoped for tonight. You got you got red on you. Ugh. Yeah. I whip out a handkerchief and wipe him down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you guys go out. Uh, let's see how many are going to be in danger getting hit by. Four to each. <laughs> oh, Lord. On Dame Silver. A 3 and a 15, those will miss. A 9 and a 14, those will miss. So yes. my roll are going cold. You guys are going to zip around the corner, I assume? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you get in there, and there is a large man leading the crowd. What? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Everybody What's his seems... name, Kyle? <laughs> nope. Every everybody seems to be adorning. Yeah, it's got his shirt guy. off, and <laughs> everybody's ignoring him. Oh. No, adorning him. Oh, oh, I thought you said ignoring. Yeah, him. everybody's looking at him. He is a large, muscular man with a granite-like chin and small black curly hair. He also has his coin purse uh, looped around his waist, and it hangs out in the front. Wow! Come on. Uh, Hey, I, we've all seen the picture of uh, Dwayne Johnson and his fanny pack. So this so. is Dwayne the Brick Johnson. This is this is Dwayne yes. the Brick Johnson. Oh man, okay. And I he heard is, about this guy. He is you leading did? the crowd. Yes. He's, oh, he's wow. kind of a folk hero here in Cathaway. Wow, uh, man, we are we're lucky to to get to see this, man. Uh, there are three half-elven bards all playing woodwind instruments to a high tempo. <laughs> he decides to do a conga line, and everybody in the bar jumps on. He started He started a frenzy, <laughs> and, and they are looping around. Come on! I and we on. join in. I, <laughs> say, I elbow I Billy and say, it on in. you join in with your bagpipes. Okay, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Rare performance roll. All right. Do you have fire that go out yours, like the one guy on? I oh, do. Awesome. Actually, I'm actually, since we're indoors, I'll play it a little safe. It'll be sprites, uh, uh, shooting out of the, uh, the thing. You know, sparkly sprites and all oh, that. Oh, very shit. good. Okay, twenty-seven. Oh, they're digging that shit. Uh, okay, it's like you, you got the crowd. They are <laughs> doing it, and Dwayne the Brick Johnson. <laughs> Gives you the wink and the finger guns. The oh, finger right. Fingers. Wait, uh, is he popping his pecs? Yes, he is popping his pecs. Uh, the, the atmosphere here is incredibly light, uh, very fun, and the conga line begins to go outside. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you guys stay in the conga line? 
Yeah, we stay in the Congo or Billy. Now, does. <laughs> give me each of you. Give me a D twenty. Dwayne is number one. So you, your D twenty will tell me where you are in the Congo. Uh, I'm six. Uh, thirteen. Okay, you guys are mixed in there. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, behind Dame, odd even. Uh, male behind Billy, odd female. Uh, let's see, what's your charisma, Dame? 15? Uh, 16. Uh, you get your fanny pinched. Billy, uh, with a 19, they check to see if you're customary in your kilt or not. <laughs> I am, actually. I am. <laughs> so they get... It. They get they get a they get a handful of lur, uh, furry fawn balls. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, the kids are all holding their ripe tomatoes, but Dwayne the Brick Johnson goes, "Come on, join us." Let's see where they go. There are three of them that will join you. No one will throw a tomato at the brick. Nobody <laughs> will. <laughs> Six. One of them will be with Dave. Seven, two of them will be with Dame. And 12, one of them will jump in front of Billy. Uh, nice. One through four is uh, the ones with Cilia. Five or six is Billy. What I roll is who threw the tomato. Five. Billy, the individual in front of you is the one that uh knocked one off your chin oh <laughs> well i'm not gonna hold it against him it's a celebration tonight very nice uh they come upon a vendor in the street the vendor is selling plates <laughs> Dwayne holds up a large gem plates are on me and hands the gem over the proprietor walks away from the car wow. filled with pottery. Uh, as the conga line goes by, you may roll a d4 to see how many you can grab. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. If we're all in on it. D4, that's it. Four. Four. <laughs> it, you, guys, you, you guys grab four plates. <laughs> he is going to go. Oh boy! Uh, across the river. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck it, we're going. We're with. We're with the brick. All right. <laughs> You're the one is... that committed the homicide. It would totally be worth it, okay. you know, to get just to be seen with uh, the brick Johnson. Okay. There we go. That's true. I mean, it's like a get out of jail free card. Uh, as you go across the bridge. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, there is a homeless guy down on the bed of the river uh, trying to sleep. If any of you want to wing one of your plates at it. No. <laughs> I, I, can't I can't that. do that. Did we mention that this was for mature audiences only yeah. before the homicide yeah. or no? Uh, <clears throat> as you go across the river, uh, you all spot Tom Silva uh, giving the thumbs up to everybody. Uh, Dwayne the Brick Johnson. Uh, gives, him a, <laughs> gives him a salute indicating that you should probably not throw at Tom Silva. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, in the building with the baked goods, odd even. Oh, yeah, here it comes. <laughs> There's going to be three of them. Uh, I'm going to use a D8. Uh, one will be Dame. Three will be Billy. Seven. Two. One. Uh, Dame Cilia, one comes straight for your head. And Dwayne, the Brick Johnson, flips his pottery into the air, shattering it before it can hit you. And I go, saving Squee! you. And he goes, Finger guns. 
dun, 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 uh, you guys go about a block and you head down a pottery covered street that you are familiar with. Uh. Mm. Uh, little trepidation, but fuck it. Dun, 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 dun. You guys continue down. Well, you know, you've got your hand on the guy in front of you and you can just kind of go. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The uh, broken pottery cracks underneath your booted feet and you continue to serpentine down. Uh, the music is playing loudly from a tavern at the end of the street. You know what? I've got minor illusions, so <laughs> Mardi Gras mask. There we go. Dun, nice. Dun, 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 dun. You guys all head into Salty's Tavern. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I just keep my head down. A, uh, a, a charismatic young man goes, all right, all right, all right. It's Dwayne the Brig Johnson, baby. <laughs> uh, he finger guns. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, he's going through the crowd and every once in a while somebody will join in uh the berserkers don't get it don't Don't understand it it at all uh meanwhile there's a young boy with a mop cleaning (laughs) up the thick blood stain uh let's see if salty spots dane Uh, damn it if you were close enough i could have made you a mess too uh 12 I'm going to give you a pass on this one because, hey, everybody, Dwayne the Brick Johnson's here. That's uh, so he's going to continue to weave through. Dun, 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 dun. And just as the tail end comes in, he is walking out. So you guys are all making the trepidation through. Uh, Billy, you're going to be safe. However, there are three berserkers. Let's see if they recognize your colleague. <laughs> Uh, 10, 15, and 12. Uh, uh, <laughs> they keep drinking. Uh, they don't rat you out. Uh, each of you make your way out into the street, and you seem to be winding down along a road that goes by the docks. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh A slew of plates come flying out at a small halfling running down the street. Odd, Dame, even Billy. Two, he grabs Billy and spins him, uh, using him as a shield against four plates. (laughs) I turn my shield click, click, clicking (laughs) if, if they catch it in time. Five, 19, that'll get you. That one will get me, yeah. One and seven. Uh, take two hit points as a teacup. Ricochets off your head. <sighs> Yet another chip. in uh, Another chip. Boy, he gets around tonight. So uh, you continue to samba your way down, and there's a small, I want to say skiff, maybe a personal yacht. Eh, 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 eh. Dwayne the Brick Johnson is leading you onto this two-leveled ship called uh, the Glitter Gold. Booze Cruise! Here we go! Is there an implication? There's an implication. Oh, Uh, no. uh, He yells out to the captain that, uh, let's go out into the bay and celebrate. Uh, The captain, Charlie, says... Okay, I can do that. Uh, you know, probably nobody's going to throw plates at us out there. That's yeah. true. And that's, that's probably true. why he's doing it. Uh, there are a total of three kegs aboard the Glitter Gold, mm. uh, all up on the second balcony. This looks like a Mississippi River boat. Oh, uh, nice. Nice. Uh, all of the private rooms are locked. <laughs> uh, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, the chorus line goes up the stairs, down a hallway up another set of stairs and you find yourself aboard the top level of this pleasure craft i've been Uh, here before (laughs) there there is a lurch so everybody give me a dexterity check gotcha Uh, 
Okay. Uh, 15. 11. Uh, both of you survived the jolt as you go out into Cathaway Bay. Uh, the alcohol begins to flow freely as three dwarves have tapped the kegs and are giving mugs away. Uh, you can notice uh, Dwayne the Great Johnson sliding some jewels over to these guys as payment. He's this so guy is just nice. taking care of everybody. <laughs> uh, and uh, he gives a rousing salute to all those hardworking Cathawayans. Uh, and the crowd, of course, huzzah, huzzah. Uh, and the alcohol begins to flow freely. The three elves, half elves that were in the bar, the uh, Catfish Tavern, mm -hmm. were at the end. So they decide to continue to perform. Nice. Okay. Can I go up to Dwayne the Brick Johnson? Sure. I massage his arm and say, I just think you're wonderful. It feels like a steel rod. <laughs> I mean, the, the muscles are just so intense. It, it's like stroking a marble statue. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> he nice. un unzips his coin purse that he holds in front. Which coin purse? That's right. Reaches in and gives you a gold piece. I, I, no, I don't want your gold. I just want to tell you how pretty you are. I was going to have you make a wish on the full moon. Okay, I can do um, that. Go ahead and throw it overboard. Queen. Dexterity attack. Attack. Ooh, 17. Into the bay it goes. Uh, he goes, what'd you wish for? <gasps> don't I tell me. Tell you all come true yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you continue on uh, the boat goes out into the middle of the day and just kind of circles around uh, the half elves are still playing music everybody is drinking everybody is having a good time Billy, okay do your bagpipe stuff I will I will rile up the bagpipes <laughs> performance check Okay. The giant cat comes in to attack. That's it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 14. I'm a little rusty. Uh, they're drunk enough they don't really care. They don't care. <laughs> uh, you guys spend two hours rolling around the bay and uh, the barge comes back into port. Uh, another lurch as it lands. Everybody doing dexterity check. Uh, 17. 12. Uh, you both uh, survived the jolt and it lands. Uh, Dwayne the Brick Johnson. Hey everybody, thank you very much. I'm going to go back to bed. You guys have a great rest of the night. Hopefully all the pottery is gone. <laughs> uh, as you notice... Where is he going to home to? His personal residence. Is it back where we came from? I don't know. Are you going to stalk him? No, <laughs> we need an escort. Why? Because we're going to get pelted with pottery. Or caught as murderers. Uh, D12, both of you. Oh, no. Did you just tell him we were murderers? No, I did not. 12. <laughs> 11. Uh, you can both follow him if you want. Okay, we're not going to do it in a creepy way. We're just no, we're gonna, just walking. We're just uh, walking and talking. Can I help you guys? I, I, I'm kind of headed home. Uh, actually, aren't we heading the same direction? Uh, uh, Is he going like across the river? He's going north. Mm. So no. So no. Uh, we're just going over here to the bridge and then going over. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll walk with you. Yeah. So are you guys Thank new to uh, Cathoy? Yes. Yes, we are, but we've oh. heard of you. Well, you know, I, uh, you know, people are nice that way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nobody special. I'm, oh. just a, just, I'm just a guy trying to get through life just like everybody else. And hey. that's why people like you. Here it comes. Uh-oh. <laughs> four. Four plates appear out of nowhere. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it. I got my shield up. <laughs> I'm ready Whoa. to protect the brick. <laughs> Two of them fall short. Two of them get caught. Ho. <laughs> nice. And so uh, you're so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just me ma'am uh he's going to head off into the religious district uh of course he would and uh he says uh if you guys are still looking for fun i suggest you go to uh creatures over there by the river arthur treachers i believe it's art oh art okay art art treacher okay I think he has something you guys might enjoy. Hey, I'm all down for it. Okay. When the when the brick gets drunk, he does finger guns. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Very uninspiring. Uh, but he points out that you go along the river. Uh, Treacher's is a pub. He says, don't the brick set you. All right. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, you go in just as they push the sign to close. Oh, okay. Are we like the last ones in? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Nice. Can I help you? Uh, we're, we're closing. The brick sent us. Oh. Right this way. <laughs> uh, and they lead you to what appears to be kind of a broom closet. Oh. And they go on in. Okay. Okay. So... Click, click. <laughs> you two walk in. The door shuts. You hear a click. And another door opens in the back of the room. Oh, or the back of the closet. Nice. It leads to a set of stairs going down. Mm. Hmm. There's a, a lot of loud, raucous activity down below. Well, oh, we hear that. And we're just like, ah, oh, the brick wouldn't steer yeah, us around. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. Okay, we go. You guys go down, and it's an expansive basement. Uh, it is roped off into kind of a loose circle. Uh oh! Uh, it looks like a bunch of netting from a ship has has formed a fighting pit. Uh, <gasps> inside the pit are several boxes on either side. Each are smeared with a specific paint. Is this the uh, UCFC? First rule of UCFC. We don't discuss it. We don't discuss the UCFC. Uh, but yes, this is the UCFC. <laughs> uh, there, there appear to be a crowd of about 30 people here, and they are dealing with two individuals, one on either end, that appear to be making and taking bets. Nice. A man in the middle in a red surcoat with brass buttons uh, announces that red will fight red oh okay red will fight red mm -hmm. uh upon hearing this the 30 or so patrons uh begin to exchange money and bets with the two guys on either end of this uh rather shoddy arena <sighs> Did you want to place bets, or do you want to see how this goes? Um, are, is there more than one fight? Or is this the only one tonight? You've never seen UCFC before, but there are several boxes inside the ring. I want to see how it goes first. Okay. Billy? Billy? Screw it. I put two gold down. <laughs> red left? Red right. Red right. Red rum. There we go. It's two gold pieces down. Uh, after several minutes of passing bets and having uh, waitresses bring you drinks, uh, well, brings Billy drinks because he's betting, does not bring Dame Silly drinks because she's not betting. I slide her one. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, everybody kind of circles around this protective uh, netting and they <laughs> wait. The guy in the red suit with brass buttons, attaches a rope to either box, extends the rope, moves outside of the ring, and gives a big tug, and the boxes come flying off, showing two large red crabs. Uh, they have daggers attached 
to their claws. Nice. And they, and they begin to circle around. <laughs> uh, there is a painted L and a painted R on them. Nice. Uh, obviously left and right. right. Yours is going to be the root beer one. Okay, root beer, don't steer me wrong. Uh, it's hit lands first it's hit lands twice uh one to two uh red right wins double your money yes (laughs) so does the other one die Mm -mm. okay uh, there, are, there are several individuals there if you want to ask them about how this works. Oh, I would like to. <coughs> Excuse me, you, sir. Can you, can you explain to me how all this works? Not a sir! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Watch your pronoun. Excuse me, person. I'm a lady. <laughs> excuse me, ma'am. Sure. Can you tell me how this works? Yeah, you bet on who you think's gonna win. Right, but do they fight to the death? Only when there's somebody inside the ring with them. Why would there be somebody inside the ring? Look around. You get 200 gold pieces if you beat this thing. So you can fight a crab? Mm Mm-hmm. How vicious are they? That's at the end of the night. So you fight the winner? Not really. Oh, hang on a second. There's a new one. (laughs) Blue and green. Hmm. So it's not the red that won. It's two new crabs. Mm Mm-hmm. I'll put a gold on each. (laughs) She's hedging her bets. I'll put two gold on blue. My boy, Blue! <laughs> wow. Uh, I love you, hey. Blue! Green will be Blue. Nice. Oh, Nat 20 on Green. Uh, down 0-2. Uh, oh, no. My boy, Blue! Uh, green finishes off Blue quickly. Uh, you lose 2 you lose one, you gain one, Dame Celia. Aww. Yeah, and a nat 20 ended that one quick. Yeah. I start singing Dust in the Wind. <laughs> like in old school. <laughs> nice. Okay. Give me a performance check. Sure. Dust oh. in the wind. All we are oh, is dust sad. in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I played Hold clarinet on. in junior high. <laughs> oh, I net 20 it, man. Uh, 28. You do, you do a better job than Dame Cilia's rendition, and you get two free drinks. Nice. nice. Uh, these drinks are pretty strong. Uh, Dame Cilia, you've had one. Give me a constitution check. Uh, Billy Piper, you are up to three. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to have to pace myself. Yeah, is this after the monsoon? Myself. I didn't drink the monsoon. I drank the oh, cherry that's right, ale. Because you cherry killed that ale. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you beheaded a halfling. I beheaded a halfling. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> we are called Murder Hobo Week because we're freaking philanthropists. He probably I'm had a, it coming. I'm, I'm the accidental hobo. You ever notice that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> 23. He was trying to do a good deed. 23 on all three? 23 on that one, yeah. Uh, on one, 17 on another, and a 10 on, on the first. <clears throat> Dame Celia? What? Constitution check. Mm-mm-mm. Just don't roll a one. Can't believe you killed somebody. Thirteen. Right? <laughs> All right, uh, you guys are buzzed. I uh, guess so... Caitlin's not the most deadliest of on That's right. Now. That's right. Caitlin's probably asleep. Remember how she was going to get shit faced at five thirty? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, whatever, Rook. That's right. <laughs> this is amateur night, baby. That's that's right. We don't go out on amateur night. 
Uh, okay, uh, there are several more uh, contests going on. Uh, as you continue to bet, you win some, you lose some. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes to the end of the night, uh, and this is apparently a regular thing in the UCFC, and they call for bidders for the final fight. The not-dude lady points out, if you want to fight, if you want to shop for the 200 gold, you got to put in 20. But I like a dame. I don't have to get in and fight, though, right? I'm just betting. No, you got to fight. You got to fight. Oh. Now, you can bet one way or the other. Now, I don't really need 200 gold that much. Billy. Thank you, Billy. Hmm. 200 gold, I eh? Will... Oh, and it would just on. be me and myself uh, alone in this if I win the bet. Huh? Let me look at my shit. Mm -hmm. uh, they are moving an exceptionally large box. Oh. I can put Bless on him, right? Yeah. Or something. Oh, Lord. Or Channel Divinity. No. It's like a really large box. Ooh. Like human sized box? There, are there any other contenders that'll go in, or is it just one? Oh, no, there are several. Oh. So everybody has to try to beat this thing? Mm -mm. Only one person gets the opportunity to go in and fight and win the 200 gold. And it will be a raffle. So if both of you went in, it would still be a raffle to see if you got the opportunity to do Okay, if it's, a ra if it's a raffle, sure. <laughs> Why not tempt fate? Uh, there are. Lord knows I've been getting lucky in some things tonight. <laughs> there are five other contestants. Okay. What number would you like to be? Uh, five. 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 If, this if this comes up as a five, you're fighting. Comes up as a two. Already? Yep. I guess uh, I'm spectating. You are a spectator. An individual dressed like the three dudes from Salty's Tavern. Oh, no. Uh, yay. Uh, he appears to be a half orc and definitely a berserker type. Oh. He, he uh, has a chain shirt on, which he removes, oh. slices open his shirt just like Predator uh, with his giant axe. And leaps over the rope netting. Why? Why would you do that? Hall. You need chain mail. Uh, the box is about four and a half feet tall by about six feet deep. Uh, and he waits. Uh, the scoring of his chest is now bleeding profusely. And he takes a flagon or he takes a draw off his flagon and throws it into the crowd. Uh, one dame, two Billy, anything else, somebody else. Four hits the man, not man, the in man, the not face, man. <laughs> yes, making her uglier. Nice. Uh, the man in the red surcoat and brass buttons climbs atop the box, asks if the individual is ready. He grunts and he goes, <laughs> what is your name? Whirly Dick is my name. Whirly uh, Dick? Whirly Dick. Whirly Dick the Berserker. There we go. <laughs> and, and NPC, NPC generator, Whirly Dick. Whirly Dick. Uh, uh, he then tears off his garments. He is going to fight naked. Uh, this causes some consternation to the ringmaster, who looks questioningly throws a rope over the rafter, fastens it to an eye ring here, and he begins to lift it up. As the door to this crate He's going to get his wanker chopped off. The berserker begins to do what will soon be called the helicopter. <laughs> uh, an enormous crab <laughs> comes oh out. Uh, Whirly Dick, seeing the size of this monstrosity, is now concerned. 
Uh, Whirly Dick will be Root Bear. The Crab will be Green. Oh. And the Crab, actually, the Crab's going to be Orange because the Crab, this Crab, gets two attacks. Uh, Whirly Dick rolls a two. Uh, the Giant Crab rolls double tens. <coughs> Plus four, hitting the naked barbarian. Yikes. We're going to use murder hobo dice. And they do not fail. <laughs> they clamp on oh, with serious dear. aggression. Ah. A howl is heard, and the crowd erupts. Round two begins. Whirly Dick rolls a nine. Uh, the giant crab misses with a three, but hits with a 15. But only one hit point. Uh, snipping off uh, a Merkin esque amount. Round three begins with him using his giant axe. Ah, this time he connects. However, the giant crab also connects. Uh -oh. uh, he's going to connect with a D12. Six. Uh, uh, not a bad amount. Another one for the giant crab. Uh, next round. Oh, shit. Uh, the berserker rolls a five. The giant crab, nat 20s, and is now Moil Crab. Oh, no. no. Wow. And he hits with the other one as well. So oh. he's going to do double the damage for the Moil. He's going to out of oh. his penis. Seven. One. Eight. Uh, the Berserker is looking very pale and very weak. This is most likely the final round. Oh. Uh, nobody hits. Can he, like, uh, tap out? <laughs> he is going, you know what? Uh, odd, he tries to jump, even he stays in. Uh, berserkers do not run. That's a 12. Okay. Uh, right, so especially if you don't have a penis. The crowd is bloodlusting. Ooh, another... Nat 20. God damn, what's with your dice tonight, man? They are hot, and an 18 on the other. Two murder hobos and a four. The berserker goes down in a puddle of blood. Oh. The crowd, let's see how many of them bet on the crab. Uh... Only 32%, one third, bet on the crab. Um, wow. So one third of the crowd is thrilled to no end. Uh, Whirly Dick, the berserker, bleeds out. Oh, um, Poor Whirly Dick. He shouldn't have had so much alcohol. He might have made it. Yeah. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, the ringmaster points out, that's it, everybody. Go home. That's it? That's it. Oh. <clears throat> so people are having you file out the same way that you came in. Well, that'd be kind yeah. of slow. Yeah. A closet? It's a single file. Okay. Oh, well, you know. I'm sad. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, kind of Since the man who chopped off a halfling's head earlier in the night. I'm trying to forget about that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll continue to remind you. Yeah, of course you will. <laughs> we can't end the night on a sad note like this. No, um, no, we got to find something else. Yeah, there, there's something else. I mean, you know, yeah. The, this scenario is not over. We're still going to go two hours. No, yes, no, I know. no, no, no. I'm I didn't saying, think. I think we weren't. I'm saying so. in game. Oh, okay. This is so uh, sad. As you yeah. get up, you are forced outside onto the street. Uh, it is right around midnight. Every once in a while, you can hear the crash of uh, pottery. Oh, okay. But it seems to have subsided substantially. Billy, yeah, what do we do now? Of... I'm just depressed. 
I know. I don't know. Want to head back to the catfish? Sure. Okay. So, yeah, we meander our way down to the catfish. Dun, 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 dun. You hear a. Uh, right as you get to the bridge, and it appears as though a runaway cart is headed right for you. Oh, DC, no! DC 12 decks, keeping in mind you are on a bridge. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. oh, fuck. Damn it, that one fell too. Uh, oh, there's a 12. What you get, Carrie? Six. Oh, uh, one and six. <laughs> you both are struck by the runaway cart. Oh, Billy, Billy is knocked over the bridge and oh, takes no. additional damage. Oh no! <laughs> uh, each of you take four hit points. Billy, you take an extra three as you land in the water some thirty feet below. So five hit points, right? Yep. Okay, when we get back together, I'm going to have to just heal him. <laughs> I've, okay, sure. I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> uh, how are you going to get him back up? Oh, is there any way? Is there a bank or something? There is, but it's going to require you to move. Oh. Um. So, you guys. Unless you got a rope. I'll be right back. She's here. Uh, you can go down here. Oh. Or out here. What? Uh, that's it. it there's, oh, oh there's it's it, they're bulkheads. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Now, if you head out towards the bay, uh, general wisdom would dictate that anything could happen okay. to you. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to go for the bay. So let's see what... Uh, uh, Dame does. I mean, if she throws a rope or something. So, I mean, she may have her adventurer's pack. Uh, I would imagine that she does. You know what? I am a creation bard, and I have got inspiration. And you are in the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. What do you want to do? I'm going to create a little boat. Give me a performance check. Alrighty. As you drown on filth and vile things floating through the river. Right. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. <laughs> okay. Performance check. Yep. Okay. Uh, 18. Yes. You, you are able to successfully create a small dinghy. Yeah, yeah. However, that dinghy wants to go into the bay because that's oh, where no. the river flows. Ah, uh, I've got oars, so can I? You didn't say you had oars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I could spend another inspiration and create oars. <laughs> you could. You are moving down at a quick pace, though. Ah, uh, oh well. All right. Do you want to throw a rope to him? Uh, At least I'm not drowning. <laughs> uh, she'll probably come close enough to throw the rope near you. Go ahead and make a dexterity check. If it's too bad, out of the boat you go. Okay. A dexterity check? Yep. Oh, crap. Okay. Ten. Uh, you do not get the rope and you go further away. Dexterity at disadvantage. Oh, Okay. He fell. He fell into the river. Made a small boat. Uh, sixteen. You grab the rope. Ah. <gasps> ah. <laughs> uh, we will. Let's see if she is able to hang on. Yes, she hangs on and she begins to drag you uh, against the current towards ah. towards the bridgehead. Okay. So I, I hold on. <laughs> uh, you reach the point where you have to climb up. Okay. I will need three acrobatics checks to climb up the rope. All right. After the first one, you lose your dinghy. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, the first one is 14. You make it up the first 10 feet. Okay. Uh, the second is uh, five. Into the drink you go. I'll take uh, another d6. Uh, Two hit points of damage. Oh, uh, make a uh, grab for the rope before you get pulled downstream. Is that another acrobatics check? Dexterity. Dexterity. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Yes, you grab the rope. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> you can see the dinghy going off towards the back. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> Three okay. acrobatics checks. Ah, all right. First one, 12. Okay. Second one. Twelve. <laughs> Please You're don't scaling. screw me. Don't You're scaling. Sc <laughs> don't screw me with this hold, last hold, one. Hold, okay. hold on just a second. Can I lean down and throw my hand out? Okay. Nope. It's ten feet. Oh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Sixteen. Up, you scamper. Uh, my my little hoofs are like hitting the side of the bridge. Oh, going come up. on. <laughs> okay. Uh, perception check, Dame Celia. Six. Uh, you do not realize it as you help Billy the Piper up out of the water. He spots an individual behind you wearing a long coat. Uh oh. Hello. <laughs> Rot row. Hi. Hi. Oh, Want to buy an artifact? He, he literally has a variety of trinkets sewn into this long leather trench coat. I'm like, tell me about these uh, artifacts. Powerful magic, my friend. Some of them may even uh, be able to dry you. Hmm. Huh. Really? Mm hmm huh very expensive he has a very gaunt appearance but his unibrow screams legitimacy <laughs> i'm sure it does oh i don't know dame what do you say it's on oh you. there's somebody behind me <laughs> uh it's on you we just got you back up here oh by the way your bagpipes they didn't make it. Uh, they didn't make it. I'm gonna have to buy new pipes. Oh well. They uh, made it. They're just waterlogged. Oh, okay. oh, they're waterlogged. Thank God. Oh, okay. They'll dry out. Uh, okay. So what you got? What do you want? <laughs> well, what kind of sales pitch is this? You gotta sell me on something. Give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, not too insightful. Ten. You're talking to a guy with a unibrow and gaunt appearance talking to you at midnight in a strange city on a bridge. Well. It's not exactly Sears Roebuck. <laughs> well, if you say I can tell me anything, I mean, it's just like, fine. Does he have I... any healing potions? Yeah. Now, what can I get for a gold piece? Nothing. And I do a little sleight of hand. Two gold pieces. <laughs> Three gold oh, pieces. Oh, rude. <laughs> 30 gold pieces, I can give you a potion. I think it's a healing potion. Oh, fuck that. You look at it. And it's got swirling colors. It's very, it's very intriguing. Oh. I'll lay hands on you and heal you. You're gonna pay thirty gold for something you don't even know what it is. Oh uh, no! <laughs> so flump flump flump, let go back. <laughs> okay. He, uh, thanks uh, for he, the offer, pal. <laughs> he wanders off. Okay. 
Dame Celia, do you heal your associate? Yes, of course. Uh, in the center of this plaza, you now notice. Yeah, I tell her I got her next time. Yeah, so. thank there, you. There's, there's numbers on the top of this tower, and there are two arms that move. It's a clock? It's a clock. You've never seen one before. Oh. Oh, okay. Does it, it go? It's an impressive clock. I don't know. Another couple more minutes, and it'll be midnight. We sit here trying to figure this thing oh, out. Oh, dear God. Midnight? You know... We probably need to take shelter somewhere. Because yeah. the purge starts at midnight. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the arms go straight up and come together. Oh, shit, we didn't make it. it. Loud <laughs> gonging begins. But we still uh, have our crockery with us. You yeah, still have crockery with you. We still have crockery. Um, but yes, the gonging is rather loud. Uh, and then after 12 gongs, it subsides. Okay. And stillness falls over the plaza. Okay. Perception check. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Ten. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen sees a group of four individuals in white face carrying bats wearing oh. strange hats that are like top hats. No, oh, fuck. Oh, they, they begin to wander towards you. Oh, no. <laughs> on their shirts, you see the word Furies on them. Oh, wow. no. Wow. Come out and play. <laughs> oh. We're so old. <laughs> We're so old. We're the only ones that get no that. Idea. She'd be like, what are you talking about? What the fuck is that? Furies? Who cares about that? What, what the hell's that? Shit's about to go down as they wield long maces. Is there any other? Oh, fuck no. The plaza's empty, man. It's midnight. You're lucky I didn't go clockwork orange on your ass. <laughs> That's what I was afraid we were doing. Yeah. Um, I was thinking Eric DeLarge. Just like, ah. Or Alex DeLarge. Sorry. Uh, nope, uh instead you got the furies no we didn't we didn't get the droogs we got I'm the furies smiting them Ooh, it's on like donkey kong hey it's, it's on, on. <clears throat> uh there are four of them mm -hmm. okay uh i roll a 12 for initiative dame Twelve. We all rolled twelves. Uh, Whoa! I will, <laughs> I, I will attack first. Uh, let's see. On Dame, seven and a five. Bad misses. On Dame, a three and a ten. Also misses. Uh, Dame Cilia, go ahead and attack first. Uh, how much did you heal me for, Dame? <laughs> One. No, You're gonna die. It's, I think fifteen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's awesome. fifteen. Perfect. Okay. So what does it take to hit him? Thirteen. Hoo -hoo, twenty. <laughs> Not twenty? Yes. Damage, damage, and modifier. Okay. So my glasses are dirty. Uh, two, okay. So damage, damage modifier. Yep, and your divine smiting. Okay, so. Hey, Billy, you killed that halfway. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you never really gonna let me live that down, you are you? Murdered that fucker. <laughs> He peed himself, he was crying, and you murdered him. Oh, God. You remind me of somebody at Gen Con who didn't mean to kill somebody. So, we get oh, nine. No. Ouch. Uh, yeah, you heard him. Uh, Billy, you're up. Okay, I grabbed the reed from the bagpipe like that, and I just blow really really shrieking loud noise out of it. They're going to have to do a con save. 
uh, they're going to get advantage because water comes spouting out because Fine. it's still flooded. What Fine. do I need? 14. Uh, 16 and a 12. Uh, 11 and a 17. Okay. So the ones that failed. Both of them. Uh, they're going to take 20 points of damage from Shatter. How much? Uh, 20? 20. And the ones that uh, saved take half as much. They take 10. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, round two. Uh, I will go again. Uh, on <clears throat> Silly. Uh, 13 and 15, 17 and 15, so no. Billy. Uh, 8 and 6, so 10 and 8. Both misses. Cilia, you're up. Ah, uh, crap. Four. Yeah, miss. Uh, Billy. Yes. Okay, I'm up. So, yeah, so with the reed, since all the water is blown, blown out, I'm going to use it as an arcane focus, and they're going to have to make wisdom checks. Uh, 14 is the DC. 16 and 9, one pass, one fail. Okay, uh, dissonant whispers. Uh, 10 points of psych damage. Uh, the one that fails get half as much. I mean, the one that saves gets half as much. Got it. Round three on Cilia. Uh, 14 and a nat 20 on Billy. Uh, six and an 11. So Billy's not going to be touched, but Cilia takes nine hit points of damage. Holy shit. Oh, shit. She's clubbed upside the head. Uh, Cilia, you're up. 19. Mm -hmm. and Are you going to hit the one that you injured before or the other one? Yeah, I'll hit the one I injured before. Um, okay. okay, I'll do my Warhammer. Uh, 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 uh. Wrong one. Plus. Six. Twenty-five. Uh, that knocks him to the ground. Uh, Billy, you're up. Fucker. All right. Uh, I'm gonna uh, ri I'm gonna rile up the reed again. <laughs> Roll up the reed. God, that sounded so bad. And uh, yeah, another shattering is gonna happen. So Constitution fourteen. 19 and 6. Okay, so a total of 13 points. The one that saves, half. One of yours is down. Uh, probably final round on silver. Uh, 16 plus 3 is 19. And that 20 on Billy. Oh. Billy's going to take uh, seven, and Dame Cilia's taken four. Jesus Christ. You guys are up. How are you holding out, James? I need some healing. Okay. All right. Both so. of the other Furies are quite injured. Well, I'm sorry. Billy's is quite injured. Dame Cilia's has not been hit yet. Okay, Jesus. All right. Should have bought that potion. Yeah, should have. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, so with this, all right. The one that's on Dame, I he's gonna have to do an intelligence check of fourteen, and I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Vertigo, and uh, cast Phantasmal Force, and I'm gonna make it like he's got the spins. And it's just going to keep on spinning. Uh, 12, so fail. Fail. So he's only going to take uh, four points of damage, but he's going to have to keep uh, 
saving. Saving. Okay. Yeah. That it. That. Uh, and I'm gonna use my movement to move to Dame. And next round, I'm gonna cure wounds on her. Uh, if you move, I'll get an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. How close is Dame? Is she within arm's She's, reach? Yeah, you guys are like close enough for arm's reach. Okay, if I'm close enough in arm's reach now, I'm not going to take the movement then. Okay, round four. Uh, hers, still in whirly gig mode. Yours, misses four. Okay. Uh, the whirly gig mo mode one's going to take five points of damage, psychological damage. Got it. Celia, you're up. Uh, Does she get advantage on the whirly gig go? Mm, she should. Okay. I mean, I would think she would. Mm. It's going to probably break my spell, but... I don't know. How does Phantasmal Force work? As long as I'm concentrating, it's still up, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I only got four. Did you roll twice? Yes. Did you get advantage? Okay. Uh, Billy, you're up. I reach out and touch Cilia. <laughs> now, are you able to do... Is that a cantrip? Uh, which part? Phantasmal Force or Cure Wounds? Because <laughs> there's wounds. no Cure Wounds. No, I'm going to have to break uh, concentration. Correct. Okay, so, but she's worth it. So, <laughs> nice. so I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on her. Uh, it's only first level, but uh, it is a total of nine hit points. Yes. So, round six, apparently, uh, on Cilia. 12 plus three. 17 plus 3 on Billy for a dirty 20. Okay, dirty 20 hits, of course. Four hit points of damage. Okay. Uh, Cilia, you're up. 17. Hits. Mm. I'll go with the Warhammer again. Well, that was wrong one. You guys are certainly odd fish. <laughs> we are. Nice. Hi, odd fish. <laughs> so that would be 10. Ouch. Uh, fair enough. Billy, you're up. Uh, how many of them are still alive? One on you, one on her. Okay. Uh, Yours is not looking good. Okay. Hers isn't looking much better. Okay. I'm going to insult the mature audiences only fuck out of this guy in case your 12 year old nephew is watching probably that is so uh he is gonna have to do a dc 14 wisdom save 16 oh he doesn't feel that bad about it he's <laughs> heard worse yeah damn it uh round seven uh one on each of you still on cilia 17 plus three dirty 20 uh 13 plus 3 does a 16 get you billy 16 no that's not Celia takes four hit points of damage Celia, you're up 15. Oh, that hits okay to the eight nine down he goes Billy. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to play Umbrella Academy and go, I heard a rumor. <laughs> and then uh, cast uh, uh, Dissonant Whispers, and he's going to have to make a wisdom saving throw. On the floor. Uh, 15. Oh, 15 just saves. Round eight. Uh, let's see what he does. If you've seen Princess Bride, he count Rugal as it turns and runs like hell. <laughs> Run away! Coward. So, 
So, uh, so uh, yeah, I have a couple of um, spell slots, so I'll heal Dame again. Thank you. Uh, across the plaza, you see the pub, the Catfish Tavern, closing down, uh, and the light is still on in the Tumbly Inn. It's like the Motel 6. Guess we better go back to, <laughs> to Yeah, bed. I guess so. Look at this point. Fuck it. <laughs> I've had it with this night. <laughs> so, uh, so, the I'm night gonna... ends. Let's go ahead and recap this bitch out, you guys. Oh, my. Murdered a halfling. It was an accident. An accident. You that would be got manslaughter. thrown out of a bar. Yeah. You met Tom Silva. Yay! Yay! You, you met Dwayne the Brick Johnson. Yay! You, you get eleven a, points. You so. conga lined to a houseboat. Mm-hmm. Yes, booze cruise. Uh, you saw the uh, UCFC yes. up close. Yes. Made a little money. Mm-hmm. And, and you fought the Furies. Yes. Not bad for two hours. No, not bad. Mm, not bad at for all. For two of us. Yeah. yeah. David, David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. Hopefully, hopefully it's like one of those, I don't know. I don't know what'll happen with Billy now since he killed the halfling. I know. I feel bad for him. The yeah, psychic like, yeah, you, you, all your laughing makes me feel that you guys feel bad for him. I do, actually. I like Poor bastard. Dad. You know what? He had a family and three small children. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's why he was in Salty's Tavern. Oh, uh, right. But, but you had fun, right? Yeah, yeah. It was a lot good, of fun. Good, good way to close out the year. Yeah, yeah. It was a good way to close out the year. Hey, we got to we got to meet the brick. Hey. The brick. Yeah. I mean, hey. <laughs> When the brick gets drunk and tired, he does finger guns. Oh, yeah, he does. Carrie, what'd you think? I loved it. It was fun, of course. Yeah, not a bad way to spend a New Year's Eve. <laughs> exactly. You know? uh, that's I don't want to go out to a bar. Yeah. Let the, let, let the record show, Caitlin, if you're already asleep, we're still up drinking. So, you know. Yeah, there you go. Age Pussy. before youth. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> Yeah, maybe yeah. she's drinking. We'll see. Hey, if she comes, she's, she's, she prob- she's probably on her second win right now. So uh, that's true. If she's uh, awake. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. This is how we roll. Uh, follow <laughs> us on Twitch. Glad follow this us is on the Twitter. End of the fucking year. Amen. Yes. Follow Thank us God. on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, our very good crap, according <laughs> to Carol, uh, the link is in there somewhere. Most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk show on Tuesdays or in a one-shot this month, all month long again, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on here. Uh, we are going to be starting a new campaign the first weekend in February. Uh, if you're interested in that, hit me up. If you've already told me you're interested, I've got it. I'm saving all the emails. And uh, I'm the one that gets to pick. <laughs> that's right. Blind draw. Uh, for yeah, all of so us here say. at Murder Hobo Inc., <laughs> thank you for joining us. Join us on Saturday for a one-shot. Again, if you want to join in, let us know. I mean... How, yeah, are you going to do any worse than killing a half lane? Or no, you can't do any worse than that. I was Christ. so sad. I, I was. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> so sad. I'm laughing and I will torture him for the rest of his life for that. Uh, but folks, for all of us here at Murder Rebel Inc., we hope uh, 2021 is much better for you and your family. Uh, and we'd really like to have you with us. So let's go ahead and give them the dating game kiss and get the hell out of here so that we can watch no ball drop and don't care. Don't care. Bye, everybody. Bye. (laughs) And you're muted. And...